we had started talking about um, getting married, and of course, when you do that, that involves ring, and so that's I've, the most important thing, guys. <laughs> We started shopping around. Um, we went to a couple places, um, just kind of exploring the thought of, of what she would like. And um, me being the guy, um, I, I, I told her like, well, we're gonna go to 20 places before we decide that one place. And so I forced her to, to go literally, I think we hit from every- From to Fort Walton. Yeah, I think we hit every store. every store from here to there. Yeah. And um, in all of the stores, we noticed one thing, there wasn't as much of a selection um, as much. Uh, it was really catered to, to one or two main designers in these different stores. Um, but we know not only that, but it really caters to whether or not you have a lot of money or you have no money. Uh, we ended up coming to Maharaja's and immediately upon walking in, um, I mean, we were greeted immediately, which was great. They had a pretty wide selection of rings of, of, from various different vendors that we could check out. And me personally, being a, a kind of technological type of person, um, we were helped by this guy named Blake, and, and he immediately pulls out an iPad and starts explaining to me like the, uh, the difference of ring cuts and quality and, and stuff Robbie like that. And Robbie was sold. He was completely <laughs> sold from that moment on. <laughs> um, a couple days later, I came back in and... Um, even though I had um, the money that we had budgeted for it, like I still wanted to finance it um, just for personal reasons. And so I got to speak with Blake and Pam even more about that and ended up getting to finance uh, the ring, which is great because um, uh, it wasn't just one large chunk taken out. You know, I've grown up in um, Panama City my whole life and seeing Maharaja billboards everywhere and it's always been kind of something, an unattainable store considering, you know, it's diamonds and costs a lot of money and it, so it was very intimidating to me even coming here to begin with, um, but that it's completely the opposite when you get here, you know, just like we said, they work with your budget and um, they are exceptionally good at, you know, understanding your price range and you know, not being pushy, but at the same time showing you things that you're going to like. Because of the experience that we had coming in and the people that we that connected with us while we were here, um, I mean, I can't imagine anywhere else around the panhandle that we would go to purchase any type of jewelry. You think about it, jewelry is the most um, almost intimate thing that you can give to someone now that we have a store that we feel comfortable in and we have people that know our style and know our taste um, that give you a fair price. I, I don't doubt that we'll be back for many, many more. <laughs> <laughs> I got to know these guys to where literally when I walked in the door, um, I heard, hey, Robert, like come across from the store um, and honestly didn't know who it was coming from either time. <laughs> Um, but ended up getting the ring and had this whole surprise trip planned to go surprise Emily in Paris. Why not do it there? <laughs> um, um, so I headed over to the Eiffel Tower and set up my camera because um, I, ha I have to get this stuff on, on video. And I was completely taken aback. I was not expecting it, especially to see him. It's one thing to kind of expect to be proposed to, but then when you see your fiance, now fiance, halfway across the world in a different country. So of course I ran up to him and he, he popped the question. I don't even remember what he said. It was so, <laughs> it was so overwhelming, um, everything at once, but it was definitely beautiful and um, it was the most special moment of my life up until now.